Hello everybody and welcome back to Beyond the Gate. button so that way you guys know when you're getting a new video or when I got a new video coming out so I'd be very appreciative um, so the first one that well the very first person that messaged was my my math teacher <laughs> um, but my second second one was Don Mulva Hill and uh, he said he had asked what the most memorable win was and I would definitely have to say that my most memorable win would be Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I don't remember what year it was. I, I know it was a couple years ago. Um, but I went from last place. I think actually it might have been last year. Yeah. But uh, I went from last place um, and gate 8. Well, I had gate 7. Um, but I went from last place um, all the way to first place, you know, by the finish line. The first corner I went from last. Um... You know, I, I made a high-low move, and um, I, I went from, like, I don't know, last to, like, full, like, fifth, maybe fourth. Um, I did the same thing in the second turn. I made another high-low high move, and I went from, like, uh, fourth to second, and then down the third straightaway, I, I did the same exact thing uh, three times in a row. I went for the high-low move. I don't know, the last one I went in and inside, and I got, I pushed him. But I still came from the outside. Um, so that was definitely one of my most memorable wins. Um, another one would definitely be, uh, my first triple ever, and that was, uh, Indiana. Uh, so that was the Stars and Stripes Nationals. <clears throat> so my next one, uh, my worst wreck. Ha! My worst wreck would definitely have to be my heel. Um, I broke my heel in half. And, uh, that one was pretty bad, um... And, and when I was younger, I wasn't really, um, I, like, I didn't have problems with taking, like, pain pills or anything. Like, I, I would get highs and stuff now. Um, I wasn't really allergic back then. So, I'm like, now I'm allergic. And, um, unfortunately, when I got that broken heel, I had to, um, pretty much suffer with no pain medicine at all. So, like, you know, the doctors told me they couldn't really do nothing for me. And, um... So I ended up kind of, well, I ended up getting um, morphine pills. They gave me morphine, and uh, I took one morphine and um, one pill, and I, I went to the bathroom, and I ended up fainting, and, uh, you know, I was on the ground crying, screaming for my wife to come save me. <laughs> uh, 
that definitely changed the way I, I rode when I came back for definitely a few months. But the thing was, was, I was on a nag chase. You know, I was on a nag chase when that happened. So when I came back, I had to go to Grand. So it was like, do you want to do this or do you not? You know, so you either get in the gate and go for it or, you know, don't do it. So I got in the gate and we went for it. Melissa Williams asked, uh, the hardest skill to master? Uh, that's tough. Um, the hardest skill to master is, um, definitely having the, like, fire to want to win. Um, I think that that's a skill. Um, you don't necessarily have it when you first start you know, racing, I didn't, when I was five years old, I didn't have that fire to want to win, um, so, if I didn't have that fire to want to win, I wouldn't still be here after 28 years, um, but, other than that, the hardest skill for me, <laughs> at least, is the gate, <laughs> I've done it for years, and years, and years, 28 years, you think I would know how to do a gate by now, but, maybe a little bit, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what's going on there. So, uh, yeah, that would probably be my hardest skill to master. So, um, and then Aaron Larson, he said, uh, my favorite Rockford season and track layout. God, I don't know. It's been so many. But definitely when uh, the Pro Doubles were in the first straightaway. The big Pro Doubles were in the first straightaway. Any layout back then was really cool. So, I really liked it. You know, having that. And and the original drop-off, too. That, that kind of the hump on it is not the same as it used to be. Um, you got to lift and pull up and manual up over it now. And it's not like... Back then, you just had to, like... You had to pull up and manual off of it. But, like, it was just a straight drop. So, that was different, too. Um, so, yeah. any Anything with the, with the Pro Double. In the first right away. Um, who is your biggest nemesis? <laughs> uh... I wouldn't say I have a nemesis, really. Um, <laughs> uh, Chris Sutton was definitely one of them uh, when we were going for Nag Nag One. Um, that was that was a really bad. Um, well, not bad, but it was a really good battle um, because me and him both wanted it. He had a bunch of wins, you know, Nag Ones in a row, and I've never had one. Um, so, like, you know, we kind of. I took him out and or no, he took me out in cruiser, and then the next lap I took him out in twenty inch. <laughs> uh, but you know, after that, you know, we were we were cool. You know, we we shook hands and everything, and we're really cool friends now. Uh, we we still talk. Um, we raced each other again in, in vet pro. Um, but I mean, I wouldn't call him a nemesis really. It was just, you know, it was just something that we were going for. You know, uh, we were both going for that number one and. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, let's see who else we got. Nathan Morley. He said, um, lots of people like to change their gearing. Um, he said, most people do it with their kids. He said, I think it's effective the way, or I think it affects the way they ride. Um, I've seen some people change gears from round to round. What are your thoughts? Um, I'm, I'm gearing. So, you know, for me, I, my nephew, um, I, I switched his gear, you know, yesterday and I thought, you know, oh man, he's on two baby gear. So I'm going to get him down, you know, to, we went out there and he, he did great off the first straight away and then he spun out, you know, so I don't know. It could be just the kids, you know, they always say it's just, it's not the bike, it's the rider, you know, and, um, going back to that, having that fire to want to win, you know, there's little kids out there that are five years old that want to win right now. And there's kids out there that don't really care. They're just out there having fun, like my nephew, which is fine, you know? Um, so, I mean, I think that gearing affects a little bit if they're serious, you know, if, if they're, if they have that fire to win, I think that that gearing can actually help. But if you're in, if the kid's just relaxing and having fun, gearing's not going to help. <laughs> it's just, it's going to be, you know, just something that you think that might help, and it's just going to frustrate you more. <laughs> At least that's what happened for me. So, uh, gearing, it can, it can help, but, you know, only, 
only for serious. So, so Jesse Beaker came and and he had said um, or asked, um, what was the hardest mental obstacle in my days competing? And um, I would definitely have to say when I was going for Nag One, um, getting in the gate, you know, and just kind of like controlling my emotions and stuff like that uh, was definitely the hardest thing to overcome you know for me at least so when I got in the gate you know I would tremble and I'd be shaking and heart is just racing and uh, so when I got into the pro class I kind of had to you know kind of contain that and um, learn how to control a little bit and it's definitely helped me a lot it's helped my gates out a lot um, but it's definitely the pregame before you get to the race um like when you're coming up to the to the gate that's definitely the hardest mental obstacle to to overcome so <clears throat> and then kelly Massa, she um sorry if i said your name wrong uh she had asked what's the best advice for younger riders out there and uh that's another hard question um because there's a lot of good advice and there's you know there's not really a bad answer for that um, because as long as you stick to racing and stick to your bike and stick to what you're doing, um, it's going to click one day. It might not be today, it might not be tomorrow, but it's going to click. Um, it took me a long time to get good. It took, like, at, you know, I, I didn't turn expert until I was eight. I started when I was five. Um, and I've seen kids turn expert in, you know, a year and a half, a year less than that, you know, so... Um, and I didn't start winning races until I got older, you know, like an expert class. I, you know, it's, it's tough. So you're not going to just jump on and be great. You know, some kids can, and that's cool, but you know, not everybody's like that. So, um, my best advice is just to stick with it and, um, don't give up. That's it. Don't give up. And, um, you know, and, and pedal to the line, obviously <laughs> past it. So, um, that's definitely a very good, uh, good advice. Pedal past the line. <laughs> uh, and then Antia, uh, she asked where my humbleness stems from. Oh, God, I don't know. I, I just, I want to be the pro that I always grew up, you know, wanting to like, you know, look up to. I looked up to Mark Melton and I looked up to, um, you know, like I've even looked up to Lies One when he turned pro. He turned pro before I did. And he's like a brother to me, you know, so um, I watched what he was doing and I, you know, I really, I wanted to be like him, you know, and I wanted to be like, you know, Mark Melton as well. I, you know, I think it's very awesome to be kind to people and, um, and, and give back to the kids. So, you know, I mean, I, I don't know, it's just, it's just me, I guess. <laughs> um, so, you know, I guess there's that. Um, most favorite thing about BMX um, and then Shaylee, well, Sean and Shaylee both asked, um, pretty much the same thing. What do you love so much about BMX and what is your most favorite thing? So, um, my dad and me, our relationship with BMX, uh, we didn't really get along a whole lot. Um, we didn't do a whole lot of things together, but what we did do is we raced BMX. So, uh, the relationship that it keeps together with him, um, is definitely what I enjoy about that a lot. Um, as well as having the freedom as soon as you get on your bike you're free to do whatever you want to do on your bike like you take it as far as you want to take it you know so and you can just kind of forget about everything when I get on my bike I just I forget about all the bad things and, and you know I just I'm I'm in a you know just a in paradise I guess <laughs> um so yeah and then you know there's there's that and then um I might appreciate you guys all for uh asking me, you know, some questions and stuff like that, and I wanted to ask you guys to go and, um, vote for me on, uh, the, the Rookie Pro, <clears throat> Rookie Pro of the Year, and the Pro of the Year on USABMX.com, um, you go and you got to, you got to text Golden, yeah, text Golden, but I don't know the number right now, but go to USABMX and, and you'll be able to figure it out, if you have a USABMX card, <clears throat> I appreciate that if you do that. And then, uh, 
yeah, I think that's about it. Um, thank you guys for coming, and I appreciate you, and uh, we'll see you guys at the next one.